Okay, so I figured I would refilm this from yesterday because I'm most certain that the kale has grown a little bit more and you can see it better. So I'm going to actually try to zoom in from this angle and then take you to the other side. See if you can see them. Little green dots. <laughs> Very hard to see, but let's go the other way and see if that helps. Okay, so there's a little guy right there. And this is kale. You can kind of see where they're coming out of the ground. If you look really closely, you can see them. Right there, there's a few yeah, little green guys. <laughs> really hard to see them, but there's more here today than there was yesterday. Let's see, there's a bigger one up. right there. Yep, you see them? There's one. There's one over there. There's a couple, and here's a little baby trying to come out. You see them? there. There's going to be a lot of kale because I didn't really do what the package said. You're supposed to put one seed in every inch or so and I just kind of <laughs> I just kind of sprinkled them in the row. We'll thin them out later if we have to. Okay, let's check out the Brussels sprout. So over here there's three rows but I planted Brussels sprouts. Now, where I actually planted them, I don't see anything green. Those two little green things, I think those are weeds, but since I'm not sure, I'm not going to touch them. <laughs> and there's one lowly carrot right there. I already harvested the rest of them, but they didn't get very big. And they weren't super sweet, so I'll have to figure out what kind I used and Maybe try a different one. But anyways, the Brussels sprouts and the kale, I planted about six or seven days ago, and they're sprouting now. Well, the kale is. Maybe the Brussels sprout in a couple days will see the same thing. And from this angle, you can really see the bell peppers and how tall they are. Yep, and when they flower, they'll start to produce the bell pepper. And I think these are the red kind. You know, I'm not too sure what I planted. It had a picture of a red bell pepper. I don't know if that means they're green first and then they turn red, or it's, it's the kind. I, I guess it's the kind. But yeah, that's what it looks like. And... I have never had good luck with parsley, but all of a sudden, <laughs> it's growing really well. And I mean, I harvested this like a few days ago and cut it down to the ground, and it just grows right back. So herbs are doing really good in this garden. Um, and I know one thing, if you want to get your vegetables to flower, then you want to use things like phosphorus in the soil, um, like fish stuff. I know they, they have a lot of that in garden centers, uh, but that usually helps for fruits because it flowers first, then it fruits after. You're going to have to fix these tomatoes. They're kind of falling over. <laughs> okay, and then in the garden, in case you're wondering what I actually have as far as soil and dirt and all that, I've got about three to one topsoil, or actually manure versus topsoil. So for every three bags of topsoil, I would put one bag of cow manure in. But that's not all that's in here. I also have tons of grass clippings, some straw. Um, at the very bottom of this, so you can see it's not very tall, but at the very bottom of it, I've actually layered some cardboard and I know that this integrates over time. I also have thrown in a lot of hoppers 
she's over there. <laughs> a lot of her stuff, you know, like her waste, because they say it's really good for your garden. And I juice a lot, so I've had carrot and apple and melon and you name it, pulp that I've used from leftover in the juicer. And I just would throw this in the garden. I mean, tons and tons of it is in here. And then just like, you know, when you have like a bag of lettuce and it goes bad, or for me, I eat a lot of kale and it goes bad. Sometimes I don't get to it. Whatever that leftover, I just throw it in the garden. So a lot of my veggie leftovers, I'll just throw them in here, fruit. And, and most likely that's why I have random <laughs> lemon plants growing everywhere because of the seeds. I didn't think about that. Um, I, the funny thing was, I did that with the honeydew melon, not really knowing what to expect, and I had tons of honeydew. And I actually got fruit out of it too, so that was kind of fun. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else I have in here. Mm, I think that's about it. Yeah, the main thing is lots and lots of organic matter and that really helps and the soil becomes rich so I've got a lot of that in the garden and it looks really good I mean as soon it, it's interesting because I'll, I'll cut the herb down so low all these herbs right here that's my herb side and I'll cut them down so low and then I'll come out here three days later and they're almost back to the same size so Whatever's going on in the soil is a good thing. Oh, and I want to also add that I did also throw in eggshells and um, I eat mussels and like the shells of that I would throw in here because I guess it has like calcium and that's helped the soil too. So it's kind of not really lacking in anything. I'm going to go ahead and throw in some phosphorus to help the green or the bell peppers along and see if that helps them flower and boost that. But yeah, so that's a little update. And let's see what Hopper's up to. <laughs> she's going to run away. Oh, she's so silly. She loves running around the backyard. Oh yeah. <laughs> she's fast too. You're a fast little bunny. <laughs> she's so excited because she loves to be out here. I bring her out every morning, and then she gets to run around as much as she wants. Right, Hoppy? Okay. <laughs>